Okay, so in this video, um, I want to show you your printer dashboard. Okay, so go into your control panel. <coughs> um, click on view devices and printers. Uh, left click on your printer and go into printer properties. Go into ports, um, configure ports and copy your IP address. Okay, which you will then go into your um, Google Chrome and paste it into the dashboard. Okay, great. So as you can see, the printer dashboard is available. Um, what will usually happen is that um, it will ask you for your user ID and password, um, and you'll just fill in all of that information. Okay, so what I'm mainly going to be looking at today is um, the cleaning card. So the amounts of cleaning cards, um, okay, so what, what it is is that um, I want the printer to start um, initiating a clean card after 500 prints, as it's shown here. Um, but uh, we normally have quite a lot of issues with that because the printer needs to be cleaned as much as possible so that um, it removes dust and particles from your card and maintains the good printing quality of your card. Um, it will damage your print head if you do not clean it off more often. So I want to change this 500 to um, 250 cards that go through before you insert a cleaning card. So um, I want you to go into these three dots or the main menu um, on the left and go into configuration and click into settings. Okay, so sometimes it'll take some time. And then on this left panel, I want you to click into the front panel, okay? Um, and as you can see, there's the brightness mode language, all of these main things that will be shown on your LCD panel. Um, but the main ones that I'm looking at is your cleaning and your um, print heads. Yeah. So as it says here, set the number of cards picked between the cleaning cards. And um, it will show steady amber orange when the printer reaches its value. Um, okay. so. When it, reaches, when it reaches 500 cards, this amber um, orange LED um, card will display to make sure that you insert a new cleaning card. So I'm gonna change this to 250 cards before you insert a cleaning card. And um, this is the number of print head cycles before you need to clean it, okay? So, um, on your LCD panel, it will show an LED um, amber orange color when the printer reaches this value. So I'm going to make this a thousand instead of um, 2,500 so that you're cleaning your printer properly and you're maintaining it um, as well as possible so that you do not get um, damaged print heads and so on and so forth. So um, I'm going to leave everything else. So please don't play around with all of these things unless you know what you're doing. Um, I'm just showing this for purposes of cleaning your printer so that we do not get so many um, returns um, and that you are much more satisfied with your printer quality. So click save. Okay, so it'll take some time. So I'm going to go to the printer dashboard again. And as you can see, um, the cleaning card has changed to 250. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. Um, so every time you put, you go through 250 cards, your printer will tell you to please put a, insert a cleaning card. Um, so you can also implement quiet mode. So your printer doesn't make so much noise when it prints. Okay, um, that's also quite a great uh, mode to put on um, if you're in an office full of people and people don't like noise. Um, so it does take some time, but yeah, settings were saved. Um, I just want to show you one more thing. Um, so go into maintenance. You can you can create a cleaning card and a test card straight from the printer dashboard, so you don't have to do it on the LCD panel. Um, and it's very easy to do, like I showed you in the previous videos. Um, I'm going to go back into configuration and settings. And I want you to go into print. 
So um, the temperature here is set by default value. These default values are very important and it's important that you do not play around with these because um, these values could then snap your ribbon if the temperature is too high or too low. Um, and these are issues that um, will damage your printhead. So please don't play around with these settings. Um, we, if you if you do need additional assistance, please contact us. But we would prefer it if you don't play around with these settings. Um, and I've shown you how to do change your color, but yeah, rather just only look at front panel and LED light bar. If you move on to all of these different activities, then that's when things start to go wrong and you don't want to damage your printer and have to pay a huge price to get a new one. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped.